what questions do you think we should be asking ourselves about transforming organizational culture and leadership? Uh, I mean, leadership and organizational culture, uh, they are going hand, hand to hand. Uh, definitely uh, some uh, leadership hurdles, what we commonly observe, are the lack of commitment in the leadership. Say, if you really want to bring a change, you require a genuine leader who is concerned. Then uh, the second challenge uh, would be the ineffective communication. What I have observed is that there is lack of clear and consistent communications. Uh, which is really a essence or a requirement for a successful cultural change. So if we are not able to make our employee understand uh, what really we want to bring a change, then we can expect less support uh, from them. Uh, the third challenge uh, would be the uh, change. Uh, I would say the resistance uh, to any change it's it it happens when we are trying to you know bring some new technology or, or some novel ideas definitely there are some employees in the organization who, who may resist because they are they were very good in their status quo what they were doing and they definitely will try to uh, create uh, some neg negativity or criticism uh, and and some kind of uh, passive aggression. So in that way, the resistance to change uh, can also be a challenge. And of course, uh, the cultural change doesn't happen over one night. It requires, uh, you know, time. And mm -hmm. for that, you need patience. So, so definitely... Uh, one has to be uh, patient and persistent and uh, as and when some some uh, as and when some uh, you know we uh, meet those uh, milestones what we had uh, framed ahead then we can uh, expect uh, some uh, bringing some new changes into the organization culture 